In the summer of 1970, the Diocese of Trenton purchased a large red brick house, which is located across from Ryder Campus. The house from then on would serve the ministry for all its events for the students at Ryder. Many students saw they needed a strong backing of their own individual faith, along with a group faith to make it through all of these newly adopted ideas within the social and political revolution taking place. In the Diocese of Trenton, we have five different campus ministries. Uh, of course, Ryder University is the closest in location to the Chancery and to my residence. I pass by every day and I see Emmaus House. The importance of Catholic campus ministry at Ryder University I think is very similar to the mission of every Catholic in their life and that's to really strive to be a more faithful and a more committed disciple of Jesus Christ and to be a more active member of the Holy Catholic Church. But the presence of dedicated campus ministers and staff really helped to enliven the students, to give them, in a sense, a very, very uh, vivid, living, vibrant experience of their faith while they were studying. And it's a Catholic home away from home for them. That I was able to impart was a spirit of family. You know, when you go to a secular university, it's hard for the Catholics to know each other and to support one another. And I think we provided opportunities to do that with the group that I was working with. Well, practically speaking, I think it's really great to have a Rider CCM presence on campus because it allows Catholic students to connect to one another. Um, I think if there wasn't some sort of organization where they could come together as Catholics, it would be really hard for them to find other people who share their beliefs and some place that they could fellowship with that. I would have to describe my experience here at CCM as blessed and wholesome. I came to know a group of people who were like-minded in their faith. Catholic Campus Ministry at Ryan University really helped me to uh, challenge myself here to grow in my Catholic faith. Well, Catholic Campus Ministry provided me with every opportunity I needed to grow in my faith in college. Ryder University Catholic Campus Ministry has a huge impact um, on the spiritual life and also the practical life here at Ryder University. You know, I hear stories about um, someone who takes a pro-life sticker and they're an RA on campus and they put the pro-life sticker on their door outside of campus. You know, that's a huge witness to the rest of the community. Catholic students in a secular university, um, they really needed to see each other as family. And as members of the Catholic Church, we are a family and that became a major theme for Catholic campus ministry. Um, it was important for people to, to see each other and to be able to rely on each other. And then to talk about love. What does it mean to love God and to love each other as, as Christians? I think yeah, all the time. I think young people, it's at a great time in their life. You know, they're, 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 they want to expand their knowledge. They want to expand, I think, their spirituality. They ask a lot of questions about about the meaning of life. Uh, what's it, what does it mean to them? What is what, what can they do to help uh, others? Uh, so I think it's a perfect, perfect. Uh, in fact, chaplaincy to a, to a college university is a, it's a wonderful job. And he was a very charismatic priest. Uh, he drew crowds. I mean, the chapel would be crowded on Sundays and not with just Catholics, with Christians and Jews alike because he was a great storyteller. That there was a part of the church that they could feel comfortable in. Uh, I think that we worked hard to do that with the many different and various activities that we did. Also with the Mayus House, making it an open place. I remember when I walked across the street and made the decision to come to an evening. He was the first person outside who greeted me uh, very warmly. and. Uh, he was, for us, um, kind of like a uh, father figure, uncle, you know, that uh, was someone who cared, expressed a lot of care and concern. Uh, you understood that the priesthood was a deep, deep part of his life that he treasured. The role of a priest on a college campus ministry program is absolutely essential. The priest has a very important role to play, a very important part to play. And I would never obviously want to underestimate the role that the priest does play. Um, he needs to really be investing in the lives of these young people. And young people really respond to a priest, to the collar that we wear, and just to the life that we live as a priest. It's, there's something attractive about that to a young person. So I think they need somebody 
not just one person. I mean, there are lots of people on the campus that they can reach out to, but maybe somebody they can come and feel really free to talk to in, in a way that they can trust that person, uh, either the person's wisdom or the person's understanding that uh, it's not just that you want to feed back an answer, it's you want that person to also develop into a beautiful way of life. Um, but I think alongside the role of the priest, I think young people also need to see other young people who are really on fire and passionate about their faith. And so one of the things I really wanted to do when I first got here was bring other, other young, young adults that have been out of college maybe a year, maybe five years, and to really bring them into our program so that other rider students would see their example and really strive to follow. Just try to be a positive role model to the students and try to show them um, just another example of what it's like to be a young Catholic, you know, living in a secular world. And uh, it was just really cool because I think that I was so young, I, it was easy to connect with the students. I knew what you know, finals week was like. I knew how hard exams could be, how stressful. I knew it's hard to get to mass sometimes on a Sunday. CCM has also allowed me to be ensured that Christ really loves me for who I am. For example, we were able to go to the Seek Focus 2013 conference and there were over 6,000 college students there praising God and worshiping Him, going to adoration, and just being able to be in their presence allows me to really know that there is a God. There is people out there who believe that Christ is here with us. And knowing that encourages, as, as a college student on a secular campus, it's sometimes difficult to embrace your faith, to wear a shirt that says Catholic Campus Ministry on it. And so, you know, again, the witness of the priest is so essential, it's so important, um, and it really does, there is something magnetic about the priest on campus, and, and I strongly believe that. And alongside that really is having those other young adult Catholics who let these rider students know that they too can be passionate about the things of this world and can be a committed Catholic at the same time. Some really opportunities for spiritual growth uh, in terms of uh, many retreats. I think we had the, the three hour retreat program and uh, a couple of longer retreats and uh, uh, weekend retreats, that kind of stuff. Uh, and I think that the basically even the programs that we, we tried to run our students really become witnesses and ambassadors to the greater Ryder University community. And they first become a greater witness of trying to attract other people um, towards the practice of the faith. So I think our spiritual impact is very great and very large here. Um, I think there's, you know, on the practical level, I, I think our impact is also um, strong here at Ryder. Uh, you know, again, as when a student becomes committed to their Catholic faith, they want to then do other service projects at Ryder. You know, they want to take part in Midnight Run. They want to take part in, you know, other, other aspects of the life of a typical university. Purpose of Emmaus House at Ryder is very, very important to our community. Um, if you haven't seen a picture, it's a big old beautiful house lo located right across from the main entrance to campus. It's a perfect house for what we do. It's in a perfect location for what we do. But the house itself really does serve a great mission and purpose. I always thought of it sort of as the heart of the ministry at Ryder University because that's where our Lord is and our Lord is at the heart. And you know, Emmaus House is um, a special name because we, we're, of course, we're called to the gospel account of the road to Emmaus. Kids all get together, all the Catholic kids here, and uh, there's a commonality between them and they um, come to Emmaus House, it's like home away from home. Emmaus House, we tried to make a, a comfortable place where people could stop. Certainly the meals always bring a, a large crowd, uh, but we had a number of other activities there too. Uh, we used to do this dance with the moon, I forgot, I don't know if that, I'm sure that's not still going on, but that was uh, every month at the, the time of the full moon we would get together in the backyard and uh, do music and read poetry. And uh, there weren't a lot of people that came to that, but it was kind of a crazy sort of thing because uh, the f changes, sometimes it's two o'clock, sometimes whatever it was, we, we would get out there and sit by that big tree. Uh, and you do really get that longing, especially as the semester goes on, you get a longing and a desire just to be at home again. 
The great benefit of having this house is every time people walk in here, so often they say, it's nice to be in a home setting once again. And I think that's really, our, our Wednesday night dinners have really become the main event for us here at Ryder Catholic Campus Ministry. I, I think it was, the door was open for anybody to come and they knew that they could come with, with, with the smallest thought in their heart or the greatest cross they're carrying. Uh, there was always somebody there, you know, to, to, to help them. People have a tough time getting over here because of a website, because of a Facebook page. They probably have a tougher time getting out if you didn't have these things, um, but having those things is not enough. You really need the personal invite. When a friend invites another friend to Catholic Campus Ministry, that seems to be the most effective way to spread what we're doing here. And you know, that shouldn't be shocking. It's what Jesus did, right? He sent people out two by two, and they really built the faith with one another. So I think while we definitely gotta be in this world of technology, and I think at Ryder, we have a great ability um, to, to really spread the word through our technological means. At the same time, we will never lose focus of that personal dimension. Initially as a freshman at Ryder University, I got involved with the Catholic, Catholic Campus Ministries men's group. It was a great opportunity for me to meet other young Catholic men um, on campus who were facing the same challenges I was as a freshman with adapting to college life. I've been blessed to be in the company of such awesome people, to have the mentorship of Father Jacob, to have such spiritual, spiritually rich people who are inspired to live and share their faith. You know, going to Wednesday night dinners and going to Emmaus House just to hang out or, you know, talk to people about my faith, it helped it develop, it helped me develop my faith um, as a young adult and as a college student because in college it's, I feel like it's harder to, um, to keep your faith alive and keep it strong, but with a support group like the one I found at CCM, um, I really, really feel like it helped me develop my faith life in college. The Emmaus House and all our great chaplains and our great student board provide anyone who comes to college with the perfect opportunity to grow in their faith in so many ways. I'm so very happy and proud of Ryder College as it celebrates its 40th anniversary of the existence of campus ministry uh, on that campus. Uh, when I first arrived as bishop, uh, I went to Ryder and celebrated Mass there, and I hope to get a chance to do it again soon. But the students gave me uh, a beautiful sweatshirt, which I wear very proudly. I'm very happy to be part of the Ryder College family. Well, I really liked Wednesday night dinners because um, everyone kind of came together, all the members of CCM and just people from around campus to come and just join together to talk about your faith, you know, catch up with friends, that sort of thing. And, you know, listening to someone else's life story or their faith journey um, was very insightful. And I think that also helped me grow in my faith too, to see someone who maybe I found similar to myself or anything like that. Think about all of them. They were all great chaplains. They were all a pleasure to work with. It was my honor to be able to assist them in the many ways that I was able to. And um, I'm proud that CCM has been a part of Ryder for over 40 years. And I'm glad for all the 20 some years that I gave to ministry. The great memories I have of Father Jacob are just sitting in the backyard um, and talking about our faith, talking about life at college, and talking about future plans. And that's, that was really the best time I have with them.